Our circulatory system is a complex arrangement of veins and arteries that is responsible for transporting nutrient-rich blood throughout our body. When you take a step, your calf muscles squeeze blood in the leg veins back to the heart, properly circulating the blood upward. Poor circulation disrupts this movement and can cause blood to reflux or pool in leg veins. This irregularity can cause what is commonly known as varicose veins, and if left untreated, a person could find themselves facing more serious symptoms and vein disorders. Some of the symptoms of vein disease are aching, throbbing, uh, restless leg syndrome, nighttime leg cramps, heaviness in the legs, sometimes sharp pains in the legs. Some of the signs of vein disease, meaning what you actually see, are the big bulgy varicose veins on the surface, uh, rashes on the skin, thickening of the skin. If you have a darkening of the skin called hyperpigmentation, if you have little sores on the skin, eventually leading to ulcers or leg ulcers. Unfortunately, most doctors and health professionals are not aware of the true medical problems that varicose veins can cause. Many physicians recommend the use of graduated compression socks to help alleviate the symptoms. While they can help, compression socks don't eliminate the problem and don't prevent the progression of vein disease. In fact, they only help in patients with varicose veins half of the time. Outpatient procedures have become popular in recent years because of their success and simplicity in alleviating the symptoms and potential complications associated with vein disease. To treat his varicose veins, Mike Butler was a candidate for endovenous laser ablation and couldn't be happier with the outcome. I had had blood clot in the past uh, and had some circulation problems, had restless leg, and uh, just had kind of gotten to a point where I thought that it might be a little bit more serious. Uh, they certainly didn't look all that great, but it was more important that it was about a health issue. And what we essentially do is we treat the vein that is causing the problems and leading to backflow down the leg. So we enter the vein with a tiny needle, put a laser fiber inside the vein, numb up the vein with Novocaine, and then fire the laser to essentially seal it shut. Then for the bulging veins on the surface, we mark them out, we numb them up, make a little pinhole in the skin and remove them with a special hook. The procedure allows for minimal downtime because there's very little cutting involved. The uh, marks left on the skin are about the size of a freckle and uh, so there's very little damage to the skin and the underlying structures. Medical procedures to treat vein disease continue to improve and evolve. As they do, many doctors will remain on the cutting edge, ensuring their patients have access to the care they need while keeping a spring in their step. Led by Dr. Eric Doner, the Skin and Vein Center is changing the way leg vein disease is treated. As a board-certified varicose vein specialist, Dr. Doner has successfully treated countless patients, greatly improving their quality of life. Recovery is brief, getting patients back on their feet in no time at all. Recovery is very quick and easy. Uh, you have to wear a compression hose for a few days. Most people return to normal activities in two to three days. It went so fast, uh, I was back on my feet right away and had absolutely no problems. It was just fantastic. My varicose veins were hurting me since I was 16, but in the last few years after having kids, they really started bothering me a lot. Each night I'd lay down and put my feet up and by seven o'clock I really could hardly stand anymore. So I decided that it was time for me to do something about it and I am extremely happy. My recovery from this was really very short and easy. I was able to have a garage sale the weekend after I finished and the next week I went to the state fair, took my kids, walked around for a full day. So many people like Sarah have suffered or continue to suffer from vein disease. In fact, a third of all women and approximately 15% of men have some form of leg vein disease. The statistic is surprising and Dr. Doner attributes this growing problem to several reasons. We attribute the fact that so many people have varicose veins to many factors. The first is genetics. If one, if one parent has varicose veins, uh, the child's risk is 50%. If both parents have varicose veins, their risk is 90%. Also, women have a greater risk because of childbearing and because of their hormones. Also, factory workers or people who stand a lot, like teachers, also have a greater risk of varicose veins. Trauma as well, injury, that kind of thing, also leads to varicose veins. 
Unfortunately, many doctors and health professionals have become complacent about varicose veins simply because they don't know about the new treatments, they truly believe it's just cosmetic, and they have no medical uh, importance. But as we know, varicose veins cause all kinds of symptoms and actual skin problems in the legs. Insurance companies are making it more and more difficult to get varicose veins treated. Their requirements for pre-authorization for the procedures that patients need are getting more and more stringent. And that makes it more difficult to get patients the treatment that they truly need to get their veins fixed. Dr. Donor and his staff are committed to making sure the best options are available to every patient. Those who have been under his care couldn't be more appreciative. The doctors and nurses here at the Skin and Vein Center have really made me feel extremely comfortable and it was a huge help right before the procedure to have someone talking me through it. Right from the very start I was greeted with warm, friendly, humorous people, a uh, nice environment and it just put me right at ease. Our mission here at the Skin and Vein Center is to provide our patients with the most modern care that they can possibly get for their varicose veins. We want them to be able to return to their fast-paced lifestyle, their work, their home life as soon as they possibly can. We want our patients to feel like they're at home here and we're extremely personable and we attend to their every need. If you or someone you know has varicose veins, leg pain, aching, throbbing, nighttime leg cramps, restless leg syndrome, rashes, or ulcers of the legs, you should know that it could lead to something more serious. Let Dr. Donor help you make the most informed decision about your health. For more information or to schedule an appointment, log on to oneontolaserderm.com or call 888-DONORMD for your free DVD and patient information guide.